Maybe a little music if you know. I'll bring you over the chaise lounge and lay you down. Or is it lie you down? Let's say lay you down. What? I'll be right back. Roxanne. It's okay, baby. Don't move a muscle. Where'd you go? Do you have a picture of me, Ted? What do you mean? A mental picture. What do you think I look like? Yeah. You're fantastic. Mm. I am. What do you think I'm wearing? Oh, I don't know. Burlap, chain mail, grandmother's boots. <laughs> I'm a full grown woman, Dad. I think you like my life counseling. Oh, no, that, that's not playing fair. No, it isn't. I don't know how to play. I have something for you, Ted. What's that? Your skin is like fire, Ted. If you guys cool you down, make you want more. How does that feel now, Ted? I'd feel a lot better if I could Take a look at no, you. No, don't. Don't move on it. Enjoy the feelings, Ted. Let me be your guide tonight. I'll be your eye. I'll be whatever you need. We'll have an update on sports and weather after this next record, so stay tuned. So, hey, what's she doing on the air? Is that your girlfriend, the one I, the one I talked to before? No. Why worry about it? That's right, not anymore. Tonight it's just you and me, Ted. Forget the past. Don't think about the future. Do you remember yeah, what? It's 325, right here. Oh, 325. Yeah. Excuse me, I need to have this mother. Can you tell me how she is? She's a very lucky young woman. Except for a couple of cuts and bruises, she'll be just fine. Oh, oh that's great. wonderful. Can we see her? I'd rather you waited. Inspector Castillo's with her now. He's got a couple of other people in there with him. I don't want to tire her. Thank you very much. I understand. Cruz is going to find out who did this for him. Yeah. And somebody's going to be in very big trouble. So did you see the car? Yes. I mean, I, there was a lot of fog, but I saw the car for a minute before it hit me. Santana, maybe you better wait outside. Why, what's the harm? This is a police matter. No, no, it's okay, Chris. She can stay. All right. So, uh, you saw the car? Yeah. Can you describe it? Did you, uh, recognize the make? Well, it was kind of blurry, but I know it was a sedan. I'm sure of that. Well, that hardly narrows it down. What color was it? Oh, I'm not sure. Or was it dark or light? It was dark. It was it was a dark sedan. But you know, there was something really familiar about it. It was like I know the car. I've I've, I've seen that car. I'm sure I've seen it before.
Hi. Hello. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I'm Chuck Taylor. I'm a friend of Ted's. Is he around? Uh, no, I'm sorry, he's not. Uh, I, I thought he was supposed to be working tonight. Uh, well, something came up. Mm. Well, uh, do, do you know where he is? We talked about going out for a drink later. Look, I don't think he's going to be able to make your date. He has a date tonight. Oh. Oh, God. He sure works fast. I just talked to him tonight. Well, it happened tonight. Ah. Uh, who with? Haley? That, that's the name he's always saying. No, I'm Haley. That's over. Tonight it's Roxanne. Listen, I shouldn't be too much longer. You want to go home? No, that's all right. I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait here. Um, I'm going to go get some water. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Sure. Oh, yeah, she's chilling. She's fine. Well, uh, do you think we can go in now? Sure. I see why not. I hear Eden got hit at at Inspiration Point tonight. That's right. Or was it after she saw you and Santana? No. Damn, that means we're going to have to set up something like that all over again? No, no, we don't. We're never going to have to do it again because we didn't do it this time. What are you talking about? Santana and I were not at Inspiration Point. Well, then where were you? We were at a motel at the opposite side of town. Well, what were you doing there? Not what I assumed we'd be doing. We're doing nothing. Santana dumped me. It's over. Wait a minute. Don't give me that. It's the truth. You and I had a plan. We were going to wreck Santana's marriage. You had a plan. I'm not interested in hurting Santana. And if you want to get your son back, you better come up with a plan that hurts a lot less people. Oh, excuse me, but this newfound morality of yours is a little hard to swallow. <laughs> That's the way it is. He won't help me. Maybe I'll go to Cruz and tell him the truth about what's been going on between you and Santana. Why did you do that? He already knows. Santana told him. You're going to have to find somebody else to blackmail. Santana! What are you doing here? I hope you don't consider yourself a friend of Eden. Neither are you and you're here. I like her. She just doesn't like me. Do you want something, Gina? Just a little friendly conversation. Where have you been? I've, I've been here since they brought Eden in. Where were you before that? But it's none of your business. Yes, it is. Everything you do is my business, as long as you're raising my son. And I don't think cheating on your husband is a very healthy thing for him. Look who's talking about cheating. You're practically a professional at it. So where did lover boy take you? Just get away from me. No. My guess is inspiration point. You're wrong. Am I? Then where were you? We were at a, at a motel. Not, not that it matters because it's over with Keith and me. People usually start affairs at motels. They don't end them there, Santana. Well, we are an exception to the rule. What motel? What does it matter? Just tell me the name of it. What's the difference what the hotel it was? Because I don't believe this motel stuff. Why don't I believe it, Santana? I have no idea. Why Dan. do I keep thinking inspiration points? Why do you, Gina? I told you that we were nowhere near there. Did you get a look at, uh, at the taillights when it pulled away? Were they unusually shaped or marked or anything? Well, they were uh, kind of big, squarish. Probably recent make. That's how they make them now. Mm. How about the inside of the car? Was there just a driver in there, or did you see a passenger or, or passengers? Oh, I don't know. I, I do only remember hearing one car door slam. It, what, do you mean they actually stopped the car and got out? Well, I, I don't know. I assume so. I don't remember seeing anybody. I don't know why I can't. I just kept going in and out. The last thing I remember is the car just pulling away. Well, if they stopped the car, they must have known they hit you. Or something. And if they actually got out, then they would have seen you lying there on the road. And they just drove away? Who on earth would do something like that? Well, whoever it was, I hope to hell we can find them. Sorry I can't be more help. I hardly think you have to apologize, darling. This wasn't your fault. He's right, Eden. I guess that's it for now. I'll ask some more questions later if I can think of anything. Okay. I think you better get some sleep. Uh, um, I agree. Just take care of yourself. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for coming. I'll be back in a few minutes, but I'm not taking a step out of this hospital until you're asleep. Okay, Mama. <laughs>
Listen, if you remember anything at all, no matter how insignificant it might seem or what time of night it is, you call me, okay? I will. Thank God you're all right. I was really worried about you. I hate to see what I did to that car. <laughs> you always told me you were tough. If you're not careful, I'm going to have to start believing you. Well, I better call this in. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You know, I thought like Cruz was a better cop than that. What do you mean? You know, he forgot the most obvious question of all. What were you doing at Inspiration Point on a foggy night? I was taking a walk. It's real peaceful around a shore at night. At least most of the times. Yeah, it's also dangerous for a woman alone. Yeah, well, I guess I found that out the hard way, right? Well, I'm just glad it wasn't more serious than it was. Are you? How could you ask a question like that? <gasps> well, listen, I don't care what you think about me, but I still want to be friends. Guess anything's possible. Well, you get your rest. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what's that? No one asked you where you were tonight. Care to tell me? So why are you so interested in my social life? Just curious. Really? How about potentially jealous? Never. Oh, come on. Come on. Let my fantasies live. Come on. Just a little bit you care? No? I care where you were. <sighs> okay, I'll spill. First, you gotta tell me what you were doing out near the point. I was taking a walk. Walking's not a crime, is it? No, not in my book. So where were you? Well, if you must know, I was out with a friend of the female persuasion. And the rest you'll have to wait until my diary gets published. Now, your doctor says you need rest, so I'm uh, going to have to go. But listen, um, <laughs> if you do ever decide to go out to Inspiration Point again, why don't you give me a call, you know? Safer with a friend. You left one minor detail out of your alibi. Are you still here? You said you checked into a motel. Which motel? Name it. You know what they said curiosity did to the cat? It also does it to people. Did it try to do it to Eden tonight? <sighs> what are you concocting in that evil little mind? Just tell me the name of the motel, Keith. <laughs> okay, if you must know, it is uh, Breeze Cottages on Shore Road. Well, I'm up. Check it out. If it's one more lie, I'll be back. Why did you do that? Didn't you think she'd check? Of course she'll check. Find out that it's a lie. When are you going to learn to trust me? I've taken care of everything. The least of our problems is Gina Capwell. Timmons. Yes, Keith Timmons. You would have checked in with a woman with dark hair. Some people think she's attractive. You did? Are you sure there's no mistake? What time did he register? Uh, no, th th that's okay. Yeah, thank you for everything. I don't know if I could stand much more of this. Just stick to our story and everything will be all right. Eden already half recognized the car. What? A dark sedan with big taillights? Five or ten thousand cars are like that in Santa Barbara. Yes, and I've got one parked right in my garage. Keith, I can't even look at Cruz. This is something. If you don't calm down, you're going to spend five or ten years in jail. He could have killed her. But we didn't. Forget about what happened tonight. Don't blow it. It's beautiful. And so are you. Okay. You said all the right things. What are you really thinking? I want you to be happy. And? And I worry. 
Because I don't know how you can pull that off, married to someone like C.C. He's not uh, real well known for making people happy. That includes you. It's changing. I hope so. It's funny, actually. I, uh, I've known for some time how you feel about him. Really? Yeah. His big, beautiful eyes gave you away. Even when you were angry at him, there was a, a way you could look at him. I hope this isn't going to change anything with you and me. I wouldn't let it. Save me a dance at the wedding. Got it. Did you get a hold of CC? Yes, he was called away for an emergency meeting and uh, left word. Chris, I'm worried about getting a hold of this tent. Yeah, well, I'll track him down for you. I know that uh, he'd want to be here. miles on it already. Okay, before I change our uh, listening tunes here, I have an announcement for all those who are wondering where TC is tonight. Ted is out meeting with Roxanne. So I think we're going to get an inside look and find out if she really stands up to her reputation. But right now, let's get back to some tunes. This time, stays off. She annoys me. Besides, we have everything we need right here, don't we? I was out at the beach bar and I didn't see anything, so I left. That's when I got hit, thanks to you. What do you mean, thanks to me? You're the one who sent me out there. I'm standing around. Where were you? Where were you tonight? Look, I don't like what you're insinuating, Aiden. Look, you were the only one who knew I was out there. You always said you'd get back at me. Wait a minute. That's before we started understanding one another. Wouldn't go too far. You know I would never do that to you. Yeah, Daddy might disagree. Eden, you know why I sent you out there. It's okay, Gina, forget it. What do you mean, forget it? You just accused me of running it's you down. Okay, forget it. I'm sorry I even said anything. wonder who did run you down. Probably some drunk or some kid who got scared. She hasn't been our day, has it? Why? Somebody tried to kill you, too? No. I mean, our plan didn't work. We try to ruin one little marriage, not a very good one at that. And look what happens. I'll probably never get Brandon back at this rate. If Santana is cheating on Cruz, you'll find out about it, Gina. Brandon will probably be collecting Social Security by then. Yeah, well, I guess we'll never know if Keith and Santana were really out there together, will we? Apparently, they weren't. They weren't? Keith told me they checked into a motel. So I called up and checked with the desk clerk. He said they were there. That's what he told me, anyway. They were at a hotel? And worse news, apparently they broke up tonight. That means we can't use them to break up Cruz and Santana. It's been a rotten day all the way around. My niece is treating me like a disease. My son is being raised by an unfit mother. And all of America's on a health kick. They aren't buying cookies. They're trying to kick the cookie habit. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. But I only have an electric oven. I mean, take a nice hot bath. After all, Scarlet, tomorrow is another day. You're right. Maybe I'll try that. <laughs> what does she want? She was asking me how I was. Can you believe it? <laughs> I don't believe anything at this point. I didn't want to press you in front of everyone else, but uh, what were you doing up there? I was taking a walk. Why Inspiration Point? I like it. I think it's beautiful up there. Yeah. 
Well, I gotta ask you, is there any reason to think you might have been hit on purpose? Okay, it's a quarter past the hour. We can expect a pleasant night with lows in the mid-60s. Tomorrow should be another hot one with a high of 86. Right now, I have a song going out to Cheryl who's studying hard on campus. It's called You Should Be Mine. Hi, Haley. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, have you seen Ted? Uh, no, not recently, Britt. I have to reach a meeting's in the hospital. She's had an accident. No, she's fine, just some bruises, but I think he'd want to know. Do you have any idea where I can get a hold of him? Uh, he, yeah, he met a girl, Roxanne, at the beach bar. Okay, great. Thank you. I'm, I'm really sorry to bother you. Hey, I'm sorry to cut this short, guys. Uh, I have a message for Ted out there, if he's listening. Ted, you're about to have a visitor. Don't say I never warned you. This is my home phone. If there's any change in Miss Capwell's condition, could you give me a call? It's not necessary. I will inform Mrs. Capwell if there's anything she needs to know. Thank you very much. Who's going to keep you informed? Gina, whatever happens with my family, and particularly my children, is none of your business. Oh, Sophia. Your children treated you like you were dead and buried for years. I'm not going to stand here and exchange insults with you. But I want you to get something straight. There is no room in my family for you anymore. What's this? An engagement ring? Did Lionel finally wear you down? It's not from Lionel, Gina. Oh, then who is it from? It can't be. Cece and I are getting married, Gina. What kind of lies did you pull this time? I don't believe this. You're not married yet, and I'm not Pamela. I'm not going to roll over and play dead while you steal my husband. Your husband? Cece kicks you out of the house, divorces you, takes your child away. How much more does he have to do to prove how he feels about you, Gina? He'll never understand what we had. Well, thank goodness for small favors. That was the best time of my life. He loved me. He really loved me. He was lonely. And he was vulnerable and he wanted Brandon. He knew you used your own little boy to get him. He wanted me. All you wanted was his money and the prestige of being Mrs. Capwell. Then what are you after, Sophia? I love him. I would love him if he had nothing and were out on the street. That will make me sick. Well, enjoy your little fling while you can. Because he knows he can't trust you. He knows he's better off with me. You really are out of your mind, aren't you, Gina? Oh, don't push me, Sinten. I push back real hard. Gina, Cece doesn't want you. As a matter of fact, no one else does either. I second the motion. You have no friends, no family here, so why don't you do us all a favor and get out of Santa Barbara for good? Never. Not as long as my son and my husband are here. Ex, ex-husband, Gina. For now. Only for now, Sophia. As far as Brandon goes, he belongs with me and Cruz, and that's where he's going to stay. No one can keep Brennan away from me, especially you, Sam. I'm not through with you yet, Santana. Oh, yes, you are. You're all washed up. You know, you can't do anything to either one of us now. You wait, you both wait. Oh, and Sophia, let me give you a little piece of advice. Don't get too comfortable in that mansion, and don't bring along anything that can't fit into a suitcase in a hurry. Because I'm going to get Cece back. I'm going to get my husband back and my son back and everything else that belongs to me. And you two, you're both going to pay for everything you said. You're going to eat your own words. Not only that, you're going to eat them in the street. Sorry, man. I, I knew you had a date. Uh, shoot! Where'd she go? Did you see her? She was here a second ago. Uh, no, no. Uh, I guess I must have scared her off. <gasps> look, look, uh, Ted. Um, I don't want you to worry about this, but Eden's in the hospital. What? Yeah, she was walking along the shore road and she got hit by a car. The creep didn't even stop. Are you kidding me? Yeah, right. Look, like I say, there's no injury. She's fine, but I think you should know. Come on. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Until next time, Teddy boy. 
Mom, that's beautiful. Daddy's got great taste. <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? I meant in women. <laughs> Thank you. I was so worried about you, I forgot to tell you. Oh, so happy for the both of you. Thanks, honey. I know all of you have had your father to yourself for a long time. Yes, we have. We're getting sick of him, so marry him quick. <laughs> <laughs> you were all so young when I left. Oh, I know. But I never stopped thinking about you. I always hoped you'd come back. We all hoped. Ted, Kelly. You know what? I think we're going to be a family again. I'm so glad. Yeah. Hi. I heard all about it. You okay? Oh, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, the, the x-rays were negative. There's no internal damages, you know. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> You're great. Oh, huh? look what Mama showed me. Your father and I. You're getting married? Yep. I, oh, Mom. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ted? Hey? Mom, I'm telling you, Dad always loved you. What's the matter? I don't know. There's nothing. I guess I just wish... Then I were getting along better right now. I know that, but you two are going to make up. I know that, too. Yeah, well, maybe so. Maybe yes. I don't know. Look, maybe you'd do us all a big favor and just kind of soften up along the edges, would you? Just a little bit, not too much. Okay. I can tell you this, though. We are going to have so much fun planning your wedding. It is going to be the wedding to end all weddings. No, no, we don't want to go too far. Of course we want to go too far. This is going to be the biggest party Santa Barbara's ever held. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, Roxanne, but your date didn't come back here, but I will give Teddy Boy your message. How do women like you take any pride in themselves? Well, so, should I finish out the hour? No, you might as well go home. Oh, I don't mind, really. I'd like to. No need. Well, um, after I got the hang of it, I kind of had fun. Oh, do you think maybe I could fill in again sometime soon? Uh, no, I don't think so. Why not? Because we don't need you. Didn't you hear any of it? I mean, didn't you like it? Like, don't make me the heavy, okay? All I'm asking is an honest answer, Jane. Okay. You're pretty awful. Embarrassing, actually. You, your voice traveled all around, and half the time the audience lost what you were saying. <sighs> Haley, look, you have to be trained for this kind of job. Oh, like you and Ted. Well, at least we had speech courses. You know, Jane, not everyone can afford to go to college. And I think I was pretty good tonight. In fact, I had got a few phone calls even saying so. Yeah, people were probably feeling real sorry about the jam you were in. That's not how it was. Those people were very nice. And you know what? You were nowhere to be found. And so Ted is off with some bimbo, and all you have is me, and I held through. And give him the chance, I'll be even better next time. There won't be a next time, Haley. I really resent this. Look, you asked for my opinion, and I gave it to you. Sometimes honesty hurts. I'm taking over. Be back in a sec. Don't count on it. Haley. Haley, open up this door. Haley, open up. All right. Uh, I have a personal dedication to go out to Jane. It's called I'm So Mad I Could Spit. By the punk tones. Let's hear it. You don't waste any time, do you? Well, the doctor said I could rest just as well at home. Brick and Mom are waiting for me. Want some help with that? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm really sore. You know, you remind me of Lois Lane sometimes. You always seem to find trouble <laughs> wherever you go. And where were you tonight when I really needed you, huh? Well, I think I left my cape at the cleaners. I must be slipping. Oh, you can't be everywhere. Are you familiar with the concept of zippers? It's a great advancement in human relations. Thank Just you. Just a second. There. Ow, my hair. I'm sorry. Thanks. So, uh, you want to tell me what you're really doing out there tonight? I told you I was just walking. It sounded like it might have been something you didn't want to say in front of uh, the other people. No. Congratulations. I hear this spring in you. Uh, no. Uh, not exactly. Uh, the doctor was just in here a second ago, and, uh, 
didn't like the looks of one of her x-rays. He's asked her to stay overnight for uh, observation. And I'd like to post a guard outside this room. Are you sure that's necessary? I'd like to err on the side of safety if it's all the same to you, man. I mean, she was like in some dangerous situations in Mexico, what, two weeks ago, you know. You're right. Now listen, now, you want me to send a man over? I'll... No, I'll handle it. Well, I, uh, I guess you got dressed a little early, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of her. Are you ready to leave? Uh, no, not yet. But why don't you head on out and I'll meet you home in an hour. Why? Well, what's wrong? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just playing a hunch, but i got to set something up. Is it even? Yeah, but it won't take long. What's the problem? Well, for starters, I'm going to have a guard uh, posted outside her room. A, a guard? I thought it was an accident. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Chris, will you please tell me what's going on? I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to make damn sure that whatever happened tonight doesn't happen again. Somebody may have tried to kill her. I'm about to let that somebody have a second chance. in there for over 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. I listened on the way over. She didn't sound that bad at all. Would you get her out? Well, what do you want me to do? Bust down the door? Why not? It's exhausted after your meeting with Roxanne. Yeah, look, I'd like to forget about that if you don't mind, right? Wait, don't tell me. She was 50 years old and wore her hair in a bun. Well, maybe so. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe so? She, she had me blindfolded. I didn't get a chance to look at her. <laughs> Sounds pretty kinky, Capwell. Yeah, me too. Haley, open up. It's Ted. Oh. Hey, folks. It looks like the moment has arrived. Mr. Teddy Capwell, or should I call him Teddy Boy, has come back, and I think we might even hear about his little rendezvous with Roxanne. But, uh, let's listen to some more music first. I okay, didn't call the cops. Oh, lighten up, Jane. My voice may jump, but at least I'm not flat. You're up, Ted. Sound okay? Yeah, well, it's amazing what I can do without a college education and speech classes. What? Asked Jane. You know, I may not have a formal education, but I'm a hard worker. And I can do whatever I want, even this. Oh, I know that. Yeah, well, that's what I plan on doing. I plan on doing what I want and when I want, and I don't have to answer to anyone, not even you two. Could I get in there if I were you? You're making your fans wait. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. What's up? Maybe something. A woman with no ID was driving under the influence, and we picked her up near the scene of the hit and run. All right, I could be... Her car matches the basic description you gave us. Go to the police station? Listen, I'll go with you. No, thanks, Keith. I'd rather, uh... You went alone. I have a few loose ends to type around here. Oh, well. I'll say good night then. You have sweet dreams. Thanks. Be in touch. Yeah. Listen, would you mind stepping outside for a little while, please? Thank you. What is it you exactly had in mind? Well, not what you're smiling about. Oh, you really know how to hurt a girl. You know, I may, uh, forgive me, maybe I'm a little too amazed that you keep going along with me like this. About what? Well, about that guard. I mean, I thought you were going to give me all kinds of flack about that. You really make me sound attractive sometimes. Uh, well, and, and about staying here instead of going home tonight? Well, that I'm not too crazy about. I mean, do you really think it's necessary? Well, I don't think it's enough, actually. I want to put you someplace where nobody knows you'll be. How'd you like to take a little trip? Where? How about I tell you on the way? Are you willing to leave right now? All right. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? Oh, well, well, what? Where's the argument? What? I'm not going to argue with you. I like going places with you. See, this will teach you. Sometimes I let you tell me exactly what to do. I don't believe this. This is twice in one night. Not a word. Not, not, not one word. This has got to be some kind of record. <sighs> Hello. 
that is it for tonight. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will be back tomorrow playing your favorites, so just hang in there on KUSB. Still at it? You'll just be waiting for me in the morning. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this has been some day. How about a cup of coffee at the diner? My treat. No, no, no. I'm pushed. I'm going straight to bed. Mm, what do you think, Teddy Boy? Guess you're not going to let me live tonight down, will you? Oh, it's hard being a legend in your own time. Yeah, well. This legend's had it. Uh, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. me over some more, Haley. You're going to have to take a number and stand in line. I didn't come here to work you over, Gina. I didn't know where else to go. You don't look so good. Thanks a lot. Sorry. Are you okay? No. No, Ted's gone. I hate living in my apartment. I'm almost about to lose my job, and I wasn't even sure if you'd let me in. You're always welcome here. You know that. You know, what am I going to do? You must be desperate if you're coming to me to ask for advice. Have a cookie. No, I don't want one. Why not? Aaron's selling. i got to get rid of him somehow. I miss Ted. So much. And how do you feel? I found out that Cece's going to marry Sophia today. I, I always thought there was more there. I, I'm happy for him. What kind of a niece are you? That's my husband. No, Jean, he's your ex-husband. That's not the way I want it to be. But that's the way he wants it. You've got to accept that. That's the problem with you, Haley. Your cup's always half empty. You know, you can have any man you want if you want him bad enough. Well, maybe you should write a book about it. That includes Ted. You can get him back. All it takes is a little common sense, a little creativity. If you just use the right moves and maneuvers. Gina, stop it. All you do is scheme. Look, if I have to scheme to have Ted back, I don't want him. Why not? I mean, at least you'd have him back. <laughs> we'll never learn, will you? I mean, you're always going to be this lying hypocrite till the day you die. What did you come here for if you didn't want my advice? I need his family tonight. I'm really lonely. Some family. Be better off alone. Bye. This has been the worst day. What do you want? Yes. Yes, this is the president of Mrs. Capwell's cookies. This is Gina Capwell herself. I hope you've been enjoying our chocolate... Ch What do you mean, do I have insurance? Food poisoning? Rose? Sorry to disappoint, but last I saw Cruz, he was still with Eden. If that's what you came to tell me, you could just go back to where you came from. You okay? He... I don't need your type of concern. Well, my concern is real because we both have a lot to lose if you screw up, up tonight. Oh, that's right. You just want to make sure that I don't tell Cruz the truth. Yes, you're right. Because your honorable husband would have you up for attempted manslaughter. Not to mention what he'd do to you. Right again. I've earned a lot in this community. And I can go far. I don't want a scandal messing things up. So what do you want from me? A campaign contribution? What are you running for next? I want you to get a hold of yourself. I'm not going to be there for you. I can't stand the thought of what we've done. What if Cruz gets suspicious? He won't if you're smart. How can I live with myself after what we've done? Because you and I never happened. Okay? This is good. Sweet memory. So get hold of yourself. All right? 
Just do what we say. Don't tell anyone the truth. Keep your mouth shut. And everything will be fine. Thanks for dragging me. It's all part of the service, ma'am. I hate saying goodbye to you. It won't be for long. I guess there are worse places to hide out in the Caribbean. <laughs> you kidding? I wouldn't... I'll call your family and uh, tell them you're safe. Would you tell Mama I want to work on the wedding as soon as I get back? Yes, I will. And, and remember, don't call anybody until I call you first. We don't want anybody to find out where you are. You see how easy life can be? Watch how much I can do for you if you just cooperate. You know, you're mistaking me for a pushover. <laughs> yeah, it was too good to be true. I'll be in touch. Yeah, maybe you should be getting home. Yeah. Bye, Cruz. <laughs>